Hi guys, I just picked up something yesterday from Sam Yang. Um, and I was quite excited to basically share my first thoughts on it. Um, because this is the first of its kind, at least according to Sam Yang it is as well. So this is the VAF, first in a, in a line of five lenses. And this is the 75mm T1.9 for Sony FE. And if you don't want a T stop is rather than an F stop, very similar to an F stop, but a T stop measures the exact amount of light rather than just the aperture size. So first of all, let's get into it. As a cine lens, this is put in. Thank you. So as a cine lens, this is fairly tiny. Design-wise, a little bit different to the usual kind of Samyang lenses, especially the kind of new ones, but it's in essence the sort of same as well. It has the same M1 and M2, and it also has the same focus hole button as well. But that, with this, can basically change into a focus save button. Um, you don't normally find that until you're into higher-end cine lenses. A little bit different design, this nice silver feel. It's, it's light and it is very, very small. It's certainly smaller than the 50mm and the new 85mm. Uh, filter thread is 58mm on the here. Um, a couple other things which are brand new. One, there is an LED just on the top of here. That will actually show you when you're recording, which is just a nice little bit of a little bit of a, an extra. So, like you'd kind of expect with a cine uh, camera, the you have a nice thread built in, which is for your focusing. But the thing this has over most of the cine lens is it's auto focus as well. So let me get this on a camera and let me show you a little bit very, very quickly how the lens performs. So this is my normal setup. Uh, this is an FX3, um, Atomos Ninja on top. And then I also have the option of manually focusing if I wanted to. Again, hitch that up, very, very simple. With all five of the lenses, they're going to be similar in size and weight. So if you are using it on a gimbal, you can chop and change without any issue, without any recalibrating your gimbal as well. We'll put it straight onto here. I don't have to use any adapter rings or anything like that. And then I've got my manual focus if I do need it. But very quickly, let me just show you the focus and capabilities of this. So this at the moment is in um, AFC, so it's in continuous focusing mode. So if I just put it on here now, As you can see from that, the focusing is, is smooth, it's not quick, um, but you really wouldn't want that in video. It's, it's more of a natural kind of feel, a little bit like the photo um, lenses from Sanyo as well. So if I pick up the camera, There we go. You'd have to bear with me, I have cranked the shutter up. I would normally be using a VND on here, but I just wanted to show obviously without any other filters at all on the camera. If I just turn my Atomos off and just go from the FX3 now, let me show you with the LED on, and let me show you how subtle that is. So the, the lens, it's just here, but obviously it's fairly bright, so you're not really going to see it. There is also one just down onto the side as well, just down the bottom. Again, not that it's going to be any kind of use for me with all this gear on here. So that is a very brief look at the new 75mm T1.9. Um, I have a wedding on Friday, uh, basically in two days' time. 
very very looking forward to using this and also very looking forward to getting hold of the rest of the other four along with these so thanks very much for this very quick video and watching um until next time bye, -bye.